don't know if you can hear yet, but uh, Dogtown is open and we can hear some dogs barking in there right now. Lots of dogs excited that their story is on the news. Obviously, this was a very difficult assignment for me to imagine just getting to hang out with 100 dogs, right? <laughs> I, of course, it was a blast for me and can now just imagine doing that every single day of your life. Well, that's the life of owners Sam Woomer, Catherine Jones, and of course their staff here at Dogtown getting to hang out with dogs. It's a doggy daycare and boarding facility that opened here in the Chelsea area about four years ago. Woomer says he got the idea for the business while working at Norfolk Naval Shipyard. He says he couldn't find a spot that would take his dog early enough, so he decided to open his own. Now here at Dogtown, they're really big on videos. One, it gives owners peace of mind. They can take videos of their dogs and show them that, hey, your dog is doing well while you're at home working or in the office working. Uh, but also, of course, videos are a great thing for social media and people love seeing clips of doggies doing doggy stuff. So during the pandemic, Dogtown's TikTok account in particular has gotten a lot of attention. You'll go to sleep uh, and the next day I'll, I'll open up TikTok and we have 50,000 new followers. And so now we're exceeding 300,000 um, followers on TikTok. Honestly, I think people just love dogs. It's such an easy subject. We're, we're very lucky um, that we have, you know, dogs to model for us and, and be in the videos. Uh, some of those videos getting about 8 million views, so going quite viral. And they've got a lot of choices for models too. Woomer says he gets roughly, as in R-U-F-F hyphen L-Y, 100 dogs a day, and that's up from about 15 to 25. The first year Dogtown was open, so this is a small business that's seen some big success in recent years. And uh, COVID really impacting this place positively. And I want to talk a little bit more about that when we continue with this story coming up later on News 3 on WGNT. But yeah, Dogtown here in the Chelsea neighborhood. Again, about to get uh, our web story online at WTKR.com where you can find out more information about them. You know, they do uh, temperament evaluations before dogs, before the dogs can join the pack here. So trying to make it as safe as possible as well and just a, a fun business overall. You can tell these guys have a blast uh, getting to meet these dogs and getting to post their their stories on social media.